Welcome back to our Cross Canada tour. This is part two of us leaving from Sunshine Valley to Princeton. Uh, we started descending Mount Allison and at the bottom we came into Manning Park, but the water there was not palpable. So we went to the lodge area in Manning Park and luckily there was water there and that water was palpable. So we were able to fill up our water and continue going. Um, as we left Manning Park, we were planning on staying at a campground, um, you know, just after, but there was no sign, there was nothing, it wasn't clearly marked at all, and we started actually summoning another mountain, we had no idea we were doing it, and so we got to the top, and it was the Sunday summit. The elevation of this mountain is 1,282 meters. After we summited that mountain, we came down into Princeton. Yeah, so we were intending to camp before Princeton. Apparently there are two campgrounds after Manning Park. We even asked a local trucker where these campgrounds were. He actually had no idea. So when we came into Princeton, we quickly tapped into a Wi-Fi and found where the municipal campground was. It's on the east side of town and uh, booked in right away. They had showers, they had water, electricity, and our campsite. Very costly, but uh, well worth it. And we ate our dinner very, very late at night. I think it was one of the only times we ate in the dark. So enjoy this episode. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. We're now descending down past Allison Pass. Ah, there's some bridge workers. Just taking a little rest at Manning Park campground. I think it's Cold Spring campground. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll be on our way again. We'll make a few more miles here. Thankfully, we passed the Allison Pass. And now we're just had a late lunch, hydrated, and uh, have our bikes resting here. Mm -hmm. We're just in this little corner by the river. So the Allison Pass is a 7% grade. Now if that doesn't mean anything to you, to put it in perspective, cars actually have to pull over on the side of the highway because their engine will overheat because of how steep the grade is. Yeah, yeah a lot of guys uh, pulled over actually. Mm -hmm. That one guy was Pulled over, totally broken down, yeah. So, it was a very steep grade in other words. I think this little guy here smells our trail mix, which is right down here. See, he's edging closer and closer. You better grab that trail mix before he grabs it. All right, so we're at the lodge at Manning Park. Manning Lodge, it looks like. Uh, this is the view that we have, looking out at the mountains. Just want to make sure that the water here is palpable, drinkable. Uh, the water at the campground was on a boil advisory, so hopefully this is good. Just passing Manny Resort and getting back on track, heading toward Princeton. I don't think we'll make it there tonight, but I want to make it a little farther. Um, we've got all our water now, so we're all filled up, filled up with water. So that's good. And the only thing we really need now is to get to Princeton. 
Got a few supplies that we need to pick up there. Other than that, we'll be good. Josh and I just walked up a massive, massive hill or mountain. If you could look at the sign for one kilometer, 9% grade. We walked a 9% grade uphill with our bikes. Very difficult. Very, very difficult. Sunday summit. Wow. Oh. Two summits in one day. check just past the Sunday summit Princeton is only 32 kilometers here Soyuz is 146 Princeton is 32 You can see 
the road behind us. We crossed that and came down through that and up this. It's a pretty amazing view up here. I think we're coming out of the, uh, the mountains here. Well, I never would have thought there would have been cows here, but there is. We're just coming into Princeton. It should be very close now. And we'll uh, assess our situation for when we get there. We're just coming into Princeton. About 8.30 at night. We've got some time before the light goes out. Careful. 